Hello, babe. Hello. You know me, don't you, babe? I can't place your face, but your shadow is very familiar. I'm Lou Gehrig. Now, do you remember me? Remember you? After the past summer, I'll never forget you. It's funny you didn't recognize me right away. I played on the same team with you all season. Yes, but you were so close to me, I was afraid to look back to see who you were. I gave you a great race, didn't I, babe? Boy, you ran me raggy. Listen, Lou, how did you get this sock and home run? It was like this. I watched you and read how much money you were getting. And I got to thinking. Thinking? With what? Never mind about with what. I went to college. Columbia, in fact. You've heard of Columbia, haven't you? Sure, that's the college entirely surrounded with delicatessen stores and Yankee Scouts. How many years did you go to college? I was seven years in the freshman class. They can't keep a guy seven years in the same class. That's what I tried to tell them. What good did college do you? I didn't go to college, and look at me. I got further than you did. I know, but only six or seven home runs further. I'm young yet. Give me a chance. Say, babe, no fooling. You were my hero when I was in college. How did you happen to pick on me? Oh, you shouldn't be sore, babe. There's room for both of us in baseball. Tell that to the enemy pitchers. Do you remember when I first reported to the Yanks, babe? <laughs> Do I? You were so green the groundkeeper tried to go over you with a rake. I was just a raw student. I don't know anything about the student part of it, but I'll tell the world that you were raw. As a matter of fact, the first day you reported, I didn't see your face at all. I couldn't keep my eyes off your feet. What was the matter with my feet? They were so big, I thought I was standing on a couple of Chinatown buses. Is there any truth in the story that you sell old shoes for bungalows? Never mind my feet. I don't mind them if you don't. You're no Apollo Belvedere yourself. No who? Apollo Belvedere. You know who Apollo Belvedere was, don't you, babe? He's one of those new Washington pitchers, ain't he? Gee, but you're dumb, babe. Hey, listen, Big Feet. Don't you call anybody dumb. When you first joined the Yanks, you were so dumb, we had to put numbers on the players to let you know which side you played on. Gee, was I that bad? Lou, I don't want to be hard on you. You're a good kid, and I like you. But you were so dumb, you thought the St. Louis Cardinals were appointed by the church. I'll never forget the day Huggins told you you were to meet the senators, and you said it would be a great treat that you were always interested in national politics and even thought inside baseball was played in the house. You ain't so smart either. Say, babe, tell me something. Is it true that you eat 20 hot dogs during a ball game? That's one of those fool lies. Why, 20 hot dogs during a game would kill any man. I know it. A man would have to be a pig to eat 20 hot dogs during one ball game. Of course he would. Well, you didn't really believe that of me, did you, Lou? Of course not. How many do you eat during a game, babe? Nineteen. Hey, babe, you've taken off a lot of weight in the past few years. Look at my figure, kid. All you've got to do now is to diet 10 or 15 more years and you'll almost look human. Boy, I'm careful of what I eat these days. Listen, babe, you have a farm where you grow your own food, don't you? Yes, I have a farm. Is it a nice farm? Well, it better be or I'm out a lot of money. What do you raise there? Lots of things. Celery, for instance. Really? You raise celery? Of course. Why the surprise? I thought Colonel Rupert was the fellow that always raised your celery. I didn't say celery. I said celery. You know what celery is, don't you? Sure I do. I had a roommate once who used to keep me awake all night, eating it in bed. You win the China automobile. Say, babe, speaking of automobiles, what's the matter with you lately? You haven't hit anybody with your automobile. It's getting harder and harder. There are too many motorists around here after the same jaywalkers these days. I haven't read of your being arrested for speeding lately, either. I found a way to avoid that. How? When a policeman stops me, I autograph the car and give it to him as a souvenir. Gee, it must be great to get a half million dollars a year like you do. Money isn't everything, Lou. That's what Colonel Rupert said when I asked him for a raise. In this game, Lou, you must start from the bottom and work up. Say, babe, why did you start your baseball life as a pitcher? In those days, I thought a man should work for a living. Gee, what a great year the Yanks had this season. Not so good. What do you mean, not so good? We lost a couple of games, didn't we? Yeah, I guess I wasn't hitting. I've got to practice up this winter and bat better. If you bat any better next season, I'll put nails in your breakfast food. Listen, Lou, did it ever occur to you that you're getting a great break batting after me? How come? A pitcher is under a great strain when pitching to me. After I sack a home run, he's easy for you guys. Is that so? And how about the effect on a pitcher when you've nearly broken your back, swinging like a gate and struck out by a mile? He ain't so nervous facing the fellows who come up after you then, is he? Even then, even when I strike out, I do it so hard that I scare the pitcher to death. No matter how you cut that stuff, it's still baloney. 
Why, as a matter of fact, you get the break. How? When you go to the bat, the pitcher always knows that I'm up next. What's the result? He's so nervous, he puts one right where anybody could knock it out of the lot. Now I'll tell one. All joking aside, babe, what's the secret of home run hitting? How do you stand when you hit the ball? I stood fat on both feet until I met you. And now what? You've got me on my toes. Well, I'm going to keep you there, too. Hey, kid, lay off that big mouth stuff. I didn't mean anything personal, babe. Okay, Lou. I've got to be bidding it along now. So do I. You know we've been talking for the phonograph. You don't suppose you've broken the record, do you? Between the two of us, we've broken all kinds of records. Say goodbye to the folks. Goodbye. See you all next season. How will they know you when they see you? Well, they'll know you, won't they? Of course they'll know me. Well, wherever they see you, they'll know I'm the guy that's right on your heels. So So long, long, folks. folks.